Bonjour, je m'appelle Michael Linklater. I was always being told growing up, you know, that I was too small. People saying because I was native, I wasn't going to make it. So being able to take all the people who doubted me, you know, I used that as motivation because I set a goal for myself that I wanted to play professional basketball. So growing up in the neighborhood, I seen a lot of my friends smoking, stealing, drinking already. And so when they would ask me, you know, do you want to go and you know, have a beer or something like that, you know, I would make the choice to rather take my basketball and go to the court. And, you know, I fell so much in love with the game. I remember, you know, shooting when the lights were off at the playground. I was fortunate enough to play five years of post-secondary, but my last year was with the University of Saskatchewan, and I was named team captain, and we were able to win our school's first ever conference championship and national championship. That was a really profound moment for me where, you know, after all of those years of working to finally accomplish something that huge, which had never been done before. So after that, I stumbled upon uh, three on three basketball. You need to qualify to get to certain stages. And for the last four years, I've been very fortunate enough to have a team that's been very successful. We've been able to see the world, you know, playing the sport we love. So our best year was a few years ago in Japan. Uh, we ended up taking second at the World Tour Finals. We see it as a job. You know, when we're out there, we're, we're there to take care of business. We have a goal in mind and we're sticking to that. You know, I've always had long hair since I was a kid. And I was getting my hair pulled. I was being called the girl. You know, it taught me a lot having long hair and having to deal with that and go through that. So as I grew up, it made me stronger. And then I ended up starting my own family and I have two boys and they were coming home from school and telling me, dad, you know, I'm being teased and you know, I wanna cut my hair. And that really, really hurt me. So what I ended up doing was I created an, uh, a gathering called Boys With Braids to help empower and encourage young boys who wear their hair in a braid uh, due to their traditions. Having a braid with the three strands, you know, keeps us grounded because it intertwines our mind, our body, and our spirit. You know, so we believe that our hair is almost like a sixth sense. We also believe that it's where we get our power from. I've never been scared of anybody. Not one person, you know, it's the toughness that you have to, you have to hold within yourself because it's something you can't teach. You know, having that mentality where you're not scared of anyone and that you're, you're gonna do whatever it takes to win, I think has helped me become a successful basketball player. If you believe you're gonna do great things with your life, then you're absolutely right. But at the same time, if you believe you're gonna do nothing great with your life, you're absolutely right.